Maya Rahal from WAMDA, entrepreneurs of the week today are Hind and Nadia Wasif, co-founders of D1 Bookstore in Egypt. Hi Nadia. Hi. Hi Hind. Hi Maya. Tell us a bit about D1's history since you started, what inspired you to launch and how you are modernizing today to fit the new trend. And initially, we acted on uh, what we perceived was a gap in the market. And, uh, and it was this gap that drew us to uh, create this, uh, this bookstore or this uh, uh, part of a message that we had that was, we found was not being um, uh, uh, supplied to or created in, in our society. There were a lot of bookstores, as you know, I mean, Cairo doesn't have a, a property of bookstores, but there wasn't the kind of modern bookstore that uh, one can, has come to see in uh, um, areas like uh, uh, you know, Europe and, and the States, uh, where it's a pleasant atmosphere, um, customer service staff know what they're talking about, they help you out in a, um, in, in a targeted way, uh, based on what you like to read, uh, it's an atmosphere of browsing, of self-fulfillment, of explore, exploration, uh, and hence we've got the cafe and a place to sit and comfortable surroundings. Um, so this was how we started. I believe we've been successful to a large extent because we're now about 10 uh, bookstores um, that we have opened in the latter part of the, of the past decade. And uh, uh, for now, the uh, way forward is multi-faceted. Uh, and there are a lot of options in front of us, and I think that we need to weigh up some of these uh, options and see which way to go, because there's uh, uh, the social media, there's the e-books, there's e-content, and uh, a lot of other things. I think we're at, a, we're at a crossroads where we're seeing a lot of boundaries being blurred. Um, anyone today can be a writer, anyone today can be a publisher. The very act of, of publishing, I think, is in jeopardy at the moment uh, because you can self publish if you so wish. So, I mean, a lot of middlemen men are being cut out. Uh, at the same time, um, you know, uh, well, people can sort of create word of mouth bestsellers through social media channels, and we, we see this happening in Egypt all the time. Uh, and the other thing is, is uh, the importance of social media channels and yet the, the lack of clarity in how to uh, turn your online uh, presence into a totally, I mean, website aside where, where you can sell and buy online. Uh, how do you monetize your social media channel? Your presence on social media channel, how do you turn that into a, a, a commoditized uh, rent, exactly? Yes, so what are the main challenges that you are facing today? Well, I mean, for the publishing industry, I think we're all facing the same challenges, regardless of whether you're in Egypt or uh, Morocco or South America. I, mean, I think we're all facing similar challenges with the threat or the, the, the inevitable aspect of evil. Um, but within our Egypt, context, I think we're a society that's very much uh, changing and we're at uh, several crossroads and nobody really knows which direction this is going to take. Um, I think one of the challenges that uh, most of our businesses, even in the long run retail businesses, uh, is, is for instance the rising cost of, of rents in malls that people like it, that uh, activities like those stores would not be able to afford in the future. Mm -hmm. I think things that all need creative solutions. What do you offer as an advice today to a young Egyptian entrepreneur who wants to start his own business offline? Um, work hard, uh, be passionate about what you do, be creative. Uh, I think we have a lot of imitation going on, we don't need more of that. Uh, learn from your mistakes and have an open heart and an open mind where you can read what's going on in front of you and react to it positively. Great. What are your next steps? Well, next, next steps, Nadia touched upon the uh, expanding or making the most of the new, um, the new media channels and uh, the new technology that is available. <clears throat> uh, 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 
the, the future uh, uh, of books might not be, or future book selling might not be in the brick and mortar stores. It's happened already in Europe, it's happening in the States, and I think it's completely non existent in the far east, in Japan, and so on. So, uh, what, what you, you, I think for the Arab world of this region, there's probably another five to ten years to go, but I think that there's, um, there's a lot of, uh, there, there's a lot that one can do with uh, technology, be it e-content, be it regional uh, sort of cultural platform, be it a, a community around reading, writing, and discussing. Uh, all geared towards self-fulfillment, self-exploration, and keeping the consumer slash reader engaged. Mm -hmm. I think what we're doing, and we're doing a very good job of, is um, forging uh, a more fulfilling and intellectual relationship with our readers. And we do this uh, through our social media channels, Facebook and Twitter, where we've reached over 80,000 uh, people that interact with us. And, uh, and I think that even if you don't have to buy a book from us every day, just the fact that we're there and we're talking to you every day and you're talking to us, more importantly, every day, that's already a very, very big step. And today we are looking at retail markets being entirely consumer driven. So we need to be very close at hand to our consumer and very much on their mind. Great. That's a great approach. Rohind and Nadia co-founders of Diwan, the bookstore in Egypt. Uh, thank you for chatting with Wamda, and we wish you all the luck. Thank you very, thank you very much. much. We wish everyone wants to start something all the best of luck. Yeah. Thank you.